How's everybody doing? Is that too loud? Is that cool? All right. First off, um, I'm very happy to be up on a stage with uh, these two young men. I've uh, had a chance to work with Jacob and Civitas now, a great group of guys to work with, and uh, just met Zach and uh, excited uh, what, what he's doing. So um, I thought I was going to talk about growth today. Uh, my name is Johanna Terrell. First of all, I'm glad to be in the room with these talented and successful um, entrepreneurs, business leaders, just to see myself coming from Akron, Ohio, and uh, coming from where I come from, it's an honor to even be on this stage. Um, I grew up in Akron, Ohio, came to Ohio, uh, Columbus, Ohio, to go to uh, Ohio State back in 1995. And I'll tell you a story, because I wanted to talk about growth, um, just to kind of show you how I've grown even mentally. I remember being in a high school, and I had, I played football, and I had an opportunity to go to Ivy League school. So I was probably one of the only people who was in my high school who had a chance to go to an Ivy League school, but also was a part of a gang. So just, it was, I don't, you know, it's just how it happened. But I remember, I remember sitting in this office and uh, the recruiter from Dartmouth, and he sits down with me and says, hey, you ever thought about going to an Ivy League school? And I had no clue what really what an Ivy League school was. And I was looking at him and I was like, I don't know. And he's like, well, it's a very good school. You know, Dartmouth, have you ever heard of Dartmouth? I'm like, nah, I heard of Harvard, you know, and Yale and stuff like that. And he goes, uh, well, let me show you, you know, Dartmouth. And he shows me this picture. And I think he found, like, one of the only black people that was, <laughs> that was at Harvard. And he shows me this guy. And, and the guy had some small dreads and glasses. And he's like, look, you know, it's a nice school. I look at the paper, and I'm like, uh, where's it at? He goes, it's in Vermont. And I'm like, where's that at? And he shows me on the map. I'm like, damn, that's cold. <laughs> like, I'm trying to kick it, you know? I'm, I'm not trying to go to school in Vermont. Man, that doesn't even sound cool. And so I turned it down. I never went. And, um, I, you know, I wanted to go to Penn State. And my dreams were to go to Penn State to play football. And um, even my friends were like, you know, what's Dartmouth, man? I'm like, I don't know. You know, it's whatever. So... Wanted to go to Penn State, and uh, so I ended up going to Ohio State because uh, I, you know, had a child. Actually, my son's in this building somewhere watching this, so shout out to him. He's actually going to Ohio State right now, and he is, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what's up. So, Bubba, uh, if you're in the building, shout out to you. But, um, and my son's great. He's a Millennium Gate Scholarship winner, so just to go, you know, show you he's doing a lot better than I was when he made his decision to go to college. So, um. But I came to O State because I had my son, and you know, just to be in that position and go to school, and um, I always wanted to do marketing. Always wanted to do marketing, and I really didn't know anything about it. I just knew that I liked commercials and advertising for some reason, you know. And I always got excited about things like that. I always was curious how that stuff, you know, happened. So as I graduated, I tried to get into the business. I, you know, I would just literally walk into an agency and say, "Hey, are you guys hiring?" And they look at me you probably should be playing football. <laughs> and I, I walk out, and, and I try the next one and get the same response. So in between time, you know, I had to work, so I would get a job. And um, one of the last jobs I got was working for uh, Radio 1, Radio 1 Columbus. So shout out to Radio 1 Columbus. Um, and so in between that time, I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. So I've tried businesses and failed. I was promoting nightclubs, throwing concerts, started a magazine, did that, you know. Um, so I always tried different things that were always centered around kind of marketing and media. And um, I remember the, the day that I decided to start my own agency is um, I took a trip to New York. I had a trip to New York to uh, shoot a pilot for MTV, which is, uh, it was kind of interesting because it was an odd couple situation. I was teamed up with uh, Frank Benson IV, who's... Uh, family is in the Castle Construction and totally two opposite different, you know, ends of the spectrum. I'm from Akron. He's from, I don't even know where he's from, but he's from somewhere. But it was, you know, we went up to uh, New York to shoot a pilot for MTV. And as we were shooting this pilot, we came back and somebody that was in New York said, hey, you know, you guys are really progressive. You're really making it happen. Okay. All right. Cool. All right so anyway, came back, <laughs> came back, started an agency, and uh, we decided that we really had opportunity to get into the game where there's a new trend in agencies. And that's how I met this guy. Uh, bigger agencies were 
working with smaller, more unique creative agencies. And so, uh, you know, four and a half years down the line, we've had a chance to work with Pepsi, MTV, Ohio Department of uh, Travel and Tourism, Universal Studios, and I'm excited to be here. So just thank you for letting me be in the room, tell a little bit of my story, and uh, I'll be here, you know, over there to talk to you more if you want to hear more about it. Thank you.